And extreme heat can cause dangerous consequences. Local hospitals are seeing more patients with heat exhaustion. A local ER doctor shares ways to stay safe in this heat. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen had a chance to speak with him. I live in an apartment without air conditioning, so I bought this AC portable unit for $460, and I had to drive pretty far to get it since they were sold out at the Home Depots near me. And this is just one of the things people are dealing with during this extreme heat. Many people are feeling the effects of this extreme heat wave. Sharp Memorial's ER doctor Keith Yablonicki says he has personally taken care of five to six patients dealing with heat exhaustion this weekend, which is much higher than normal. Usually you see really zero heat related injuries, even this time of year. Um, maybe you see one every couple shifts. So, you know, one patient out of 60 or so people would be a heat-related injury. This is five or six out of 30, so a significant increase percentage-wise. The heat wave has been persistent all weekend long. Saturday, medical crews brought out stretchers for fans experiencing heat exhaustion at the Aztec season opener at Snapdragon Stadium in Mission Valley. The temperature at kickoff was 100 degrees, the hottest in recorded history for an SDSU football game. The San Diego Fire Department tells CBS 8, quote, there were several patients treated at Snapdragon Stadium AMR and SD Fire Rescue provided medical aid. To stay cool, 68-year-old Ellen spends just 30 minutes relaxing and swimming in her pool. This is amazing and scary. Uh, we've never had temperatures like this. Most of us don't have air conditioning here because we've always had great cross ventilation. She recently had a heart transplant and decided it was time to put AC in her unit. It, it's taken a year to recover from that. So we felt the air conditioning and just being able to remit, control the temperature and stuff was a lot more um, conducive to my healing and my getting better. As the heat continues, anyone over 60 can go to the Gary and Mary West Senior Wellness Center downtown. It is a designated cool zone. The heat is dangerous for everyone, but particularly for older adults. And you can imagine it's exceptionally dangerous if you're living on the streets. Come into a center, get out of that punishing heat. To stay safe in this heat, make sure to follow these easy tips. If you are outside, um, I wouldn't be out there any longer than 20 minutes at a time. You know, wear a nice big brimmed hat to stay out of the sun and stay cool. Um, drink plenty of water. Remember, uh, alcohol, caffeine, all these things dehydrate you. Dr. Yablonicki says some signs of heat stroke or heat exhaustion are feeling faint or fatigue or to go from sweating in the heat to not sweating. For a full list of open cool zones in your area, head to CBS8.com and click the help button. For CBS8, I'm Ariana Cohen. And to help San Diegans beat the heat this weekend, the city is keeping 10 cool zones open during the hottest parts of the day. We have a list of those locations on your screen for you right now. Each of these centers will be open tomorrow and Monday. That's actually today and Monday from noon until 5 p.m. And they'll each offer AC and free Wi-Fi for you. To get a list of all the cool zones in our area, go to CBSA.com and click on the help button. And we are here for you as the weather heats up. That's why you can get weather alerts, the forecast and weather story sent directly to your phone. Just text the word heat to 858-571-8888 to get all of the latest information.